So as I've said, or I hope I've said, <laughs> I, I like watching, just watching, not the television as such, but the world, which is the television, things going on around. Um, I find it gives me a lot of peace. It is, I suppose, my form of meditation to just watch something with trying not to think but just to watch it look at it and notice oh this moves there this goes there and stuff like that and some years ago i had a moment in vester park one of my favorite places and there were just birds and the birds were eating and of course the birds are conditioned to come to humans because we give them food, even though you're not meant to give them food, and I don't give them, give them any food. But they're so used to it that if you sit somewhere long enough, then the different birds start coming around. And these birds were hanging around, and then once they realize, nah, he's giving us nothing, they just continued and they began to sort of peck. And I started looking at how they were getting their food, you know, just sort of moving randomly, peck, 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 peck. And I'm looking and looking, and suddenly I thought, oh, wow, that is so incredibly free. It's so, it looks to me, a human being, as incredible freedom. And I began to imagine this whole world in which somehow we had not discovered economics and money and stuff like that but had some system that allowed us to simply to move from one place to another, there would always be food. If there was food, you just take it. You would, it would sort of be part of the deal of being human is that you would also produce or help in the production of certain foodstuffs. But generally speaking, you would just wander around, grab a bite here, grab a bite there. And as I got to this point, then I suddenly remembered what it's like, or what it was like, because this is a long time ago, during Christmas in Ahafia in Nigeria, where I would disappear for days. Everybody would come. The, the idea is that your village is where your father's 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 father, you know, where they come from. So you can, it doesn't matter where you're born, you're always from that one place. And so at Christmas you go there, and there are all these weddings and this and that, and you disappear, and I would just vanish for days. And I wouldn't have to think about eating or sleeping. Everything was provided. Everybody seemed to know who you were, even if I didn't know who everybody was. And you just, it was this magical kind of living. And so those birds pecking away, uh, having been disappointed by my refusal to give them food. So watching them peck away very freely made me think of... Uh, the sort of idealism rose to the top of the mind. And I began to imagine a world in which we so we could really share stuff. I mean, truly share stuff that you had no, that the, the big kick would be just doing exciting things and not having lots of stuff. But of course, that's me, an idealist, a forest man, may I say. Um, that's something that happened simply because, or that's a thought that occurred simply because I found myself watching birds go peck, 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 pe